Hello everybody and welcome to another lesson on soundproofing. Today we are going to talk about something that a few students have asked me about which is sound break. And for those of you who don't know, sound break is a drywall that is manufactured specifically for its acoustic properties. So today I'm going to go through and talk about what sound break is more in depth. I'm going to compare it to traditional 5 8 inch drywall which I usually recommend and what I did with my own home recording studio. And then I'm going to talk about the comparison of cost between using sound break and then also using traditional drywall and see what the cost comparison is like. Finally, I'll let you know my final thoughts on whether I think it's worth it to use sound break or just stick with the good old tried and true method of using regular old drywall. All right, before we jump in, I want to let you know that I have a free resource that will help you on your soundproofing journey. This is my free soundproofing workshop. It is 40 minutes of in-depth teaching where you will leave with an actual plan of how to soundproof and build your home recording studio. So if you're ready for that next step and you want to learn more about soundproofing, I highly recommend this. You can go to soundproofyourstudio.com and sign up immediately and start watching that workshop right then and there. There. That is soundproofyourstudio.com. All right, let's jump into the lesson. All right, so Soundbreak is made by a company called National Gypsum, and it's under their Gold Bond products line. So it's kind of confusing. It seems like the company's Soundbreak, but Soundbreak is just a product that they provide specifically for reducing sound transmission in construction. Now, what makes Soundbreak different from any other type of drywall on the market seems to be the fact that they put in a viso viscoelastic polymer layer, which is a fancy word for a dampening agent inside the middle of the drywall. Now, dr dampening is a aspect of sound reduction, and what it is is essentially having a product like metal or mass loaded vinyl is something that's often used or green glue is another example of a dampening agent and all of these different types of products accomplish the same thing which is to reduce the amount of vibration that happens in the material in this case drywall or gypsum board and by reducing the amount of sound vibration in the material it will reduce the amount of sound that is transferring into your room or out of your room. So essentially a dampening agent acts like a spring and it reduces the vibrations, like a shock absorber on your car will reduce the amount of vibrations from the road. So you can think about that in simple terms, don't get too hung up on it and this viscoelastic polymer sounds very fancy, but it's the same thing as green glue um, if you were gonna go that route. So that is kind of a bonus. You get it built in. You don't have this added process of having to add your own dampening agent into your wall. I will say they also have a few different product lines that you can look at. So they've got their half inch uh, thick layer, their five eighths inch thick layer of drywall. And then they have an even thicker layer. I think it's three quarters inches that's specifically made for ceilings and even floors. That one is interesting, but uh, for the most part, we're gonna be talking about their five eighths inch drywall layer because it's going to be similar to our five eighths inch regular gypsum board that I would recommend for all your soundproofing needs. Okay, so now that we got the idea of what this sound break stuff is, let's talk about a comparison in acoustic terms to sound break versus just the regular old 5 8 inch gypsum. So if we look at this diagram here, this is a wall chart that I drew up, but it's actually borrowed from Home Recording Studio, Build It Like the Pros by Rod Gervais, which is a book I highly recommend you all check out, and there will be a link in the description below. But this diagram shows you that on the far right here, we have the two walls with a one inch air gap, each with two layers of gypsum board or 5 8 inch drywall on either side. And this will give you an STC rating of 63, which is great. This is what you're looking for and shooting towards when making a home recording studio that is soundproof. Now, if we look at a similar design based on some of the information that Soundbreak has provided, we can see that they have a diagram here where they're getting one layer of gypsum board, regular 5 8 inch gypsum board on the outside with the one inch air gap, the two walls with that gap in between with some insulation in the middle. 
And then they're saying that you should put another layer of gypsum board, 5.8 regular old gypsum board, and then finally add their sound break on top of that uh, layer of gypsum board, and that will give you an STC of 64. So comparing back between the STC of 63 that you get with the two layers of traditional drywall versus the STC of 64 with one layer of sound break on top of it and only having to use one layer of drywall on the other side, you can see the comparison there and notice that there's only one STC level difference. So for all intensive purposes, they're the same. It's important to note too that STC is not a perfect system for sound reduction, but it is good for something like this where we're trying to compare two things. Soundbreak did do the same standard lab testing that is required to be able to say that you have STC ratings. So I wasn't able to get my hand on any of their actual lab results on their website. I did give them a call and I'm waiting to hear back from that. But for these purposes, we can say that these two wall structures are about the same. Now I will say that the Rod Gervais diagram and what I did in my studio, it is getting an STC of 63 without any dampening agent in the middle. So this is just two layers of drywall, just pure mass. There's no green glue. So if you added green glue into the middle of that, your STC rating would go up. So in that case, adding the cost of green glue and the labor of green glue um, would actually give you better results than using Soundbreak. All right, so now that we've looked at some of the acoustical properties of the comparison, let's talk about the cost comparison. And this is probably what's gonna come down to the wire with why you choose one over the other. So if you look at the cost of drywall for just a four foot by eight foot piece of wall, which is one panel of drywall, uh, right now on Home Depot, I looked it up, it was about $14. It'll actually be less if you buy in bulk. So if you're doing a, a larger room, you could make it even down to maybe $12 per panel. So it's fairly cheap for the 5 8 inch drywall. Remember, I don't recommend anything less than 5 8 inch because we want the mass of the 5 8 inch drywall. Now, I couldn't find any costs online for Soundbreak. This is probably because they go through specific suppliers and you'd have to call up somebody who is actually selling Soundbreak and then ask them for a specific cost. However, I did find on a blog called medium.com that they had a list of costs of different drywall. And as you can see here, Soundbreak for the 5 8 inch drywall can range from 50 to $100 for one piece of four foot by eight foot uh, drywall. So for our comparison here, when we look back at the cost of building those two types of walls, so we can get that 63 or 64 STC rating, we're going to look first at the Rod Gervais method, which is using four pieces of four foot by eight foot drywall. So if we look at the cost there, it will simply be that $14 times four, which will give you a total cost of $56. So one section of your wall that is four foot by eight foot. Now, if we look at that same section of wall for sound break, the cost will be a bit more as you're about to see. So remember back in our diagram before that sound break mentioned to get that 64 STC range that we're shooting for with a recording studio, what we're going to need to do is use one layer of sound break with two layers of traditional 5 8 inch drywall. So the cost of two layers of drywall for that same section of wall would be $14 times two, which would come out to $28. And then I just averaged that 50 to $100 cost range. And let's just say that sound break costs $75. And so your total cost would come to $103. Now, it's important to notice that this is pretty obvious if the costs are right for sound break that the cost of at creating a similar wall with one panel of sound break and the two layers of 5 8 inch gypsum is almost double the cost of getting just the four layers of regular drywall uh, with the double wall system. So in this comparison where I'm trying to be super fair and show similar designs and similar ways of getting the same results for your soundproofing wall, uh, it's very clear that using 5 8 inch drywall give you the same results and will cost you half as much. So to me, sound break is not a great deal. There are some instances where I could see it could be kind of nice, like they have this special material which is meant to retrofit over existing walls to help beef them up. Well, I don't recommend doing this if you're in a pinch and you can't do major construction, that could be an interesting option to choose. 
And um, if you wanted to use Soundbreak for just regular drywall in your home, I could see how it could be better than using just 5 8 inch drywall on its own. However, if you're using proper soundproofing techniques and creating the double wall system, or even a resilient channel system using hat channels, Either way, the traditional drywall will do the same job and accomplish the same STC ratings for much less cost. So I hope that this little video has been helpful and insightful and understanding that a lot of these companies don't necessarily want you to think about it in this terms. They're just trying to sell a product that looks really sleek and they have all these fancy numbers, but when you really look at the science in comparison, it can be very different. So. Like I said, if you are building a studio and you want to go more in depth with how to build your soundproof studio, I have a free soundproofing workshop that is available at soundproofyourstudio.com. This is 40 minutes of in-depth teaching and I will teach you how to create a plan that you will leave with an actual piece of paper of how to design your own home studio. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment if you have any questions. Uh, if you're listening on our podcast, thanks so much. You can always leave a review. I appreciate it. And I will see you all next week.